Hello, Geminis. This is your monthly reading for February 2019. You guys, bear with me. It's early. Okay. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Gemini. What's going on for my Gemini? I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you guys. I'm going to lay the cards face down um, just so we can look at them together. Okay. Let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs the energy that's around you right there your challenge for the month your issue past or recent events best possible outcome what you would like to see happen Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for my Geminis? What's coming in for Gemini here? Okay, we're gonna leave that one right there. It came out in the upright, so face up. Let's see how you guys are viewing this situation here. How you see yourself and your outside influence. It's Gemini's outside influence here. Your hopes. What are Gemini's hopes? Gemini's hopes. Gemini's fears. Mm -mm. Try it again. Gemini's fears here. What are Gemini's fears? Move this up a little bit. And the overall outcome here. All right. So let's take a look at what you guys have going on for this month. All right. So the energy that's around you is the high priestess. There's a lot that you don't know. Um, there's a lot that you're not saying either. But I, I get this feeling that you guys are kind of being overwhelmed um, with something that's pulling at your heartstrings. It's like... I, you're trying to figure something out here. There's something that you're trying to figure out here. Let's see what your challenge is. The Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Um, this is this is a new start. Um, it's it's whether or not to make an offer of a new start to someone, something even. Okay. But we'll see what's going on here. I think you know that's what's pulling at you is whether or not to initiate something. Okay, something that could be very stable and grounded for you here with this Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's see what the issue is for you guys being successful. Um, maybe this issue, you're not sure whether or not to offer or start something because, you know, you really don't know if you're going to be victorious. Um, you don't want to be turned down is what I'm getting here. And for some of you... I feel as though you don't want to be tied down. It's like you're going back and forth whether or not to like solidify something with someone or something or whether you want to stay like this free agent and be able to do exactly what it is that you want to with whoever you want to here, okay? So let's see how you're viewing this situation very thoughtfully very thoughtfully um, you're trying to remove your emotions from this and think about the situation logically you're not making any fast moves you're really just trying to see what is best for you right now what's going to be the best outcome for you is what I'm getting here with the king of swords energy what was going on for you guys recently you were stuck you were stuck um, you weren't moving you were just letting things be the way they were not not you know having any input or like trying to influence the situation i think you guys have been thinking a lot about um or really in the past trying not to think about what it is that you probably want to do but you're kind of like struggling with it not really knowing um if this would be beneficial for you okay so the best the overall outcome the best outcome here would be the two of cups so this is somebody i do feel somebody that you feel like um 
you love, they love you. And I don't think there's any doubt about that. I don't think there's any doubt about how you feel for someone. I think whether it's, it's, it's a it's a choice of um, a decision of whether or not that you can be all in is what I'm getting here. Okay. I feel like in the past, maybe the situation you felt wasn't going anywhere or maybe you didn't want it to go anywhere. Um, maybe you wanted to like stay out and date. But what's coming in for you is this shocking event, this shocking revelation, um, something that's going to shake you up, kind of throw you off a little bit here, okay, with this tower. An awakening is coming in for you guys. Let's see what your outside influence is. Hmm. Maybe somebody's not speaking to you. Um, maybe you guys, you know, this is a very stuck situation where I, I don't feel like you guys are communicating, probably have it um in a while okay but somebody's kind of like um I, I feel like they were probably lending their um attention and emotions and probably speaking to you before but now they're not okay and i feel like this person was very hurt and i feel like you were very hurt at one point but i, I think what's what's getting you right now is like this separation um, not communicating with this person is giving you a little time too to kind of meditate, sit back, um, and really think about the circumstances with this individual. And I think now it's like maybe you feel like this person is moving on here. Okay, is getting over this situation. Um, and I think that before, maybe you guys. Maybe you guys just really wanted to be single. Not that you didn't love this person, but maybe you were unsure if you could be there, if you wanted to be there even, okay? Let's see what your hopes are. Your hopes is for a new start. Your hope is for that spark to be there, for this person to still be attracted to you, for you guys to still have that chemistry that you once had is what I'm getting here, okay? And your fear... Hmm. You don't want to really, I feel, obsess about this situation. Um, I feel like you don't want to get too attached. Um, but I feel like you already are. I feel like you guys are attached. And I feel like there's this very strong, um, not only you know this love between the two of you, but there's a very strong sexual attraction to this person as well. Okay. Now, in the overall outcome, we have the Empress. Uh, this, this is something new. This is something fruitful. This is something that could grow, that's going to be abundant, that's going to bring in a lot of stability, a lot of nurturing, um, a lot of support. I feel like this individual is, um, is somebody that you deem you know, beautiful inside and out. Uh, somebody that's very supportive, that cares for you. This is probably a, a single mother here. Okay. Somebody that you probably want to, if you don't have children with them, maybe you want to have a family with them. If you're past that, this is just you and this person being a family here. Something new and abundant. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers for this, um, this tower. Why is this tower here? Why is this tower coming in for Gemini? Why is the tower coming in for Gemini here? The tower. Maybe no messages? No added messages? Let's see. What's the tower? Why is it? Okay. Hmm. This is realizing something that could be very um, stable here. Make an apology. Maybe somebody has to make an apology to you. You know, this energy can go vice versa. But this is somebody um, being interested in, like, coming forth with something that could lead to a very stable um, connection, uh, foundation, offering something here. Wanting to offer something here. Okay. Let's see if we can get something else for this tower. The tower. Here. The tower. That's the tower. 
Yeah. This is an offer, maybe of an apology, um, maybe to sit down and have a conversation even. Um, yeah, I think this is just more of, of a realization coming in. Maybe an apology. I'm getting strong apology here. Communication, even though it's a pinnacle. There's something substantial here, okay? Something substantial. What is this Ace of Pentacles for? Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Something flipped over right there. The Knight of Cups. It's a love offer. It's a love offer. You're being challenged to, to reconnect or connect with somebody. If you guys are already with this person and the, the energy is just kind of stagnant between the two of you, there's a need to offer your emotion to make a loving offer here to somebody. That's what you're being challenged with because I think you're already thinking about it, but um, you're really not sure at this point what to do. Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess. Yeah, you know, that's it. That's it, guys. Um, for this month, you guys are being challenged to, you're already thinking about whether or not you want to offer something or somebody's thinking this about you, okay? Could go vice versa. But um, the challenge is to make that offer or accept that offer, okay? Whether it's to sit down and talk about what has gone on, um, between the two of you, why the relationship has been stuck, why you guys haven't communicated. Um, just, you know, a loving offer to communicate how you're feeling, okay? Now, what's affecting you is the fact that I feel like this person has taken their hands off of this situation and have removed themselves, okay? You're, you're afraid to be too attached to this person because I think you enjoy your freedom is what it is. But you see growth and abundance with this person, guys, okay? So we have Cancer here. We have Capricorn, um, Aries energy here, Pisces, Leo, <clears throat> Scorpio energy. Um, I feel Taurus is here, Libra is here as well. So you guys, this is what I have for you for February and I will be speaking with you soon.